Hello everyone, today's video I'll be showing you how to make this moon granny square. So for this granny square you will need three different colours of yarn, a darning needle, a stitch marker and a 3.5mm hook. For this design I used white, light blue and dark blue. So starting with light blue, create a magic ring and chain three. The first chain three counts as the first double crochet of the round. Then work another 11 double crochets into the magic ring. The chain 3 plus the extra 11 double crochets should count as 12 double crochets in the magic ring. Then pull tight and slip stitch into the top of the beginning chain 3. With the same light blue yarn, chain 3 and half double crochet into the same stitch. Then work 2 half double crochets into each stitch around. This should leave you with 12 clusters of two half double crochets. Then slip stitch into the top of the chain three. Do not cut the light blue yarn, but attach the white yarn to it. Once the white yarn is attached, slip stitch into the next stitch. As we're working on the moon shape now, I would add a stitch marker to this first stitch. We'll be working with a lot of different stitches around with the white yarn. So first start with a single crochet. In the next stitch work one single crochet and one half double crochet. Two half double crochets in the next. Then a half double crochet and a double crochet. Then two double crochets. In the next stitch, work a double crochet and a half treble crochet. For a half treble crochet, yarn over twice, go through the first two loops, and then pull through the remaining three loops. In the next stitch, work two more half trebles. So pull through the remaining three loops. Then a half treble and a full treble in the next. For the middle of the moon, work three trebles in the next stitch. Then just a single treble. Then a single half treble crochet. Now we'll be working down the other side of the moon. So work two half trebles in the next stitch. Then a half treble and a double crochet. Then two double crochets. A double crochet and a half double crochet in the next. Then two half double crochets. Then a half double crochet and a single. In the next stitch to finish, work a single crochet and finish with a slip stitch in the final one. Now you can fasten off this white yarn. Taking the light blue yarn from the previous round, chain one into the first single crochet of the white yarn, skipping the first slip stitch. Then in the next stitch, work two double crochets, 
chain two and work two more double crochets into the same stitch. This will act as our first corner. For the sides, you want to place a double crochet in the next stitch, then a half double crochet in the next two stitches, then a single crochet in the next three stitches. Next, another half double crochet in the next two stitches, and finish with a double crochet. Now, working on the next corner, place two double crochets in the next stitch, chain two, and another two double crochets in the same stitch. After the corner, we go back to the sides. So a double crochet, then a half double crochet in the next two stitches, then a single crochet in the next three stitches, then a half double crochet in the next two, and finish with a double crochet. So back on the corner, two double crochets, chain two, and two double crochets in the same stitch. Now repeat these steps around until you reach the first corner again. So for the corners, two double crochets, chain two, and another two double crochets. And for the sides, a double crochet, two half double crochets, three single crochets, another two half double crochets, and finish with a double crochet. Once you've completed the last double crochet, slip stitch into the first double crochet of the round and now you can fasten off the light blue yarn. For the final round, attach the dark blue yarn to any corner of the previous round. Then you want to chain three, which also counts as the first double crochet. In the same chain two space, place a double crochet, chain two, and place another two double crochets. Now moving to the sides, place a double crochet in each stitch across until you reach the next corner. You should have 15 double crochets across the side. Then in the next corner, work two double crochets, chain two, and then another two double crochets. Repeat these steps around until you get to the beginning chain three of the round. So for the sides, place a double crochet in each stitch across, which will leave you with 15 double crochets. Then for the corners, work two double crochets, chain two, and another two double crochets. Once you've completed these steps, slip stitch into the top of the chain three and fasten off. All you have to do now is weave in the excess yarn using the darning needle and you're done. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that it was easy to follow. 
If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and give this video a like and subscribe if you want more. Thanks for watching.